Would you say that the, the second and third shot was, in your opinion, uh, too close together for one person to do? Uh, I definitely always, my doubt was always because they were so close together. And, and in it, at the time I heard it, it didn't seem to me like they were more than two or three seconds apart. It was just so simultaneously that uh, it was unreal. Katie got, uh, got by is uh, when I uh, run across the, the street to go up the knoll, and that's when I was stopped by this uh, guy that I, I know he had a gun under his, his trench coat. You could, I could see the muzzle. I might have been running right straight into it. I was across the street and went to the, not to the fence area, a little bit in front of you to the left, but you went more, more toward, toward the, the center. end of the yeah, the school end of the depository. Yeah. Right. And, and that's where this guy stopped me. How until, far did you get? I got right up to the top, near the top okay. of the knoll. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's when he said, you better not uh, come over here, you better not go any further because you can get shot or killed and I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. I was too excited at that time whether he said shot or kill. But he had on a, a he, he had on a suit, he was suit. dressed as a detective or an FBI person. Do you remember by any chance uh, if he had dark hair or light colored hair or well or uh, he tall? Or? I, he, he had on a hat. Yeah. How many of them would have seen the, uh, the uh, gun uh -huh. that all I saw was just a muzzle of it. Uh, it was completely under his coat? Up. Under his coat. Under his suit coat. Yeah. Well, not under his trench coat, he had over his arm. Trench coat.